Ange and Gigi, take care. Goodbye, little T. Thank you for teaching me about your underwater ways. Thank you for showing me. Thank you, Dylan, for setting the great ancient Gigi free. But please help us. We need a lot of people to help clean up our oceans and stop them getting any worse. Goodbye, little T. Goodbye. Goodbye. So from that day, little T made some serious changes to his life. He went and joined Rainbow Fisher's underwater resistance and took it upon himself to educate the underwater world as to the dangers of evil tangling magic plastic. Now when Dylan got back up to his boat, he spoke very quickly, telling his dad about everything that he had seen and everything that he had heard while he was under the water and about how important it is that humans start making some serious changes to the choices that they are making. Well, that does it. I'm scrapping Tuesday's four-wheel drive bush bash off the itinerary. We're going to get some big bags and clean up this mess. You know what, Dad? I reckon if we all work together, we really can create change. Dylan, I think you're right. Come on, Dad, let's go tell Mum. So from that day, the Felix family did make some changes to their lives. They always brought bags from home to put their shopping in, so they didn't need to take extra plastic bags. They tried to buy things that weren't all wrapped up in excess plastic packaging. And Dad included Coastal Cleanup Day as a regular activity on their holiday itinerary. Now, as for me, well, I think I might stay around for a while. I think our Earth's waters could use a big dose of mermaid magic about now. And as for you, well, I wonder what you could do. Hmm. Well, here's a big dose of mermaid magic for everyone out there. However, if you plan on any underwater breathing, I highly recommend the use of a snorkel. Yeah. Bye everyone, thanks for coming to our puppet show. Can you say goodbye in dolphin language?